Hi YouTube friends! So today I thought I would do a back to school haul. Now I know one of my recent channels I just did a Target haul. Um, I went to Target, Hobby Lobby, and I think Michael's in that video. Everything I have here, it's a lot of stuff, is all different from that. So I'll put the link to the Target video below if you want to see what my first round of stuff um, that I got was. And I thought I would do another haul because I've been doing a lot of shopping, but I try to justify it with, it's for the kids um, and the classroom, which somehow in my brain makes me think that it's better. Um, there's a lot of stuff here, so what I think I'm gonna do is break it up into two different videos. So this is gonna be part one, and then I'll do a part two tomorrow, so you can kind of um, pick and choose and see what you like and what you don't like, and I'll tell you where it came from and kind of how I plan to use it. All right, stay tuned. Can we just talk about these sleeves for a second? I love them, but at the same time, I'm just picturing like leaning over a kid to help them, and that like my bat wings are just in their face. Anyway, so the first stop, um, let's do Michael's bag because it's right here. Um, I had what I had said in a previous video that I am not a knickknack person. I don't like things just to have things, um, but I know that you need to have random things to make your home look nice, your classroom look nice. So I got this guy. I don't know if he's gonna go into my classroom because I have a lot of the fake Ikea pots um, and like green things like this. So this might actually go into my office, but I thought it's white, it's gray, it'll go with the Ikea plants already in there. Um, so I picked this guy up from Marshalls. He was five bucks. The next thing I got was um, this K and it's so heavy, like I can't even tell you, like it's so much heavier than I thought it was going to be. It was $8 and I got this for Cat's Kinder Kids. Um, I'm really proud of starting this because I know I'm a very shy person when I first start doing something. It takes me a long time to um, pursue things sometimes. And so the fact that I'm still making videos and I haven't just made one and given up because I'm embarrassed about it, um, I love. So I'm really starting to get into it. And I know that um, my dining room back wall is not gonna work as a backdrop forever. Um, so I wanna be getting some things to fill up a bookshelf that is in my office and use that as part of my filming space. So that is what the K is for. So this says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I will remember, and I will remember, involve me and I learn. Um, so this was $4 at Marshall's and I just like little inspirational things like this. I don't know if this will go in my classroom. Um, I do not have a teacher's desk. I got rid of that a couple years ago. Um, so I think this might go in a, hall, in a um, giveaway video um, or Instagram post that I'm doing because um, I think someone would really like that in their classroom. I got one more little sign thing and it says, be your own kind of beautiful. So I think this might also go in my house. Um, and I don't know why in Marshall's I was just in like a little knickknack mood. So um, I got that as well. The whole reason I went to Marshall's, I hope you didn't hear that. The whole reason I went to Marshall's was because I wanted to get um, one of these mugs. So, um, this wasn't actually that expensive. Um, this is one of the redone um, mugs that everyone just loves. And I feel like I've been living under a rock because I don't know why this is a thing. I mean, I love it, I think it's so cool. Um, but I don't know why it has such a cult following. Um, but I wanted to pick one up because I wanted to include this in um, a giveaway video. And I felt like this was the best thing out of the ones that they had. They had a bay one, a Mr. and Mrs. one, a bride one. Um, and then flawless. So um, I picked up this guy for that video or that post. And hopefully I don't break it between now and then. Um, I then went to Target and I've been a sucker for their dollar spot section. So I got some more pencils. Um, one of my class dojo rewards, if they want to cash in their rewards, I think at 10 points, they can go to a pencil jar and pick out one of these types of pencils to use and I'll sharpen it for them. 
instead of them having to use one of the normal ones that just goes in the community pencil bin. So I picked up some of those. Um, I picked up two of these, one for myself um, and one for a giveaway. I probably won't keep that little green thing. I don't know what that's for, but um, I am known for putting my keys down and walking away from them. So I'm trying to put some things on there that aren't heavy, but that are noticeable so that um, I'll remember to pick my keys back up. So one for myself and one for a giveaway video. Now I bought one of these um, at Target a couple of weeks ago and I have been looking for this for months. I went to Target with one of my teacher friends. She showed me this, we call it the secret Target, um, that's in a community by our class, um, our classrooms. And we um, were looking in the school section, um, in the office section, because school supplies weren't out then. And there was only one left and she loved it and she's changing her classroom decor from what it was last year to um, white and black and gold this year. And so she saw it and loved it and I didn't have the heart to be like, no, I want it. Um, so I've been stocking different targets until um, I found one and I've seen this on Instagram that a lot of people feel the same way. So I found one and I scooped it up and threw it in the cart. I didn't care how much it was, I needed it. So I picked that guy up. And again, I know I said I wasn't a knickknack person, but this one I thought was really cute. Um, it's a white little apple, and I'm going to be putting um, some little treats in here um, to go in my small reading group section is what the vision I have for that. The next thing I picked up, and I bought two of these, and I had not seen these at all in any of my targets. I have been to, there's about five or six targets um, I'm in Southern California and I can get to a lot of targets within like 15 or 20 minutes. These I've never seen. I actually convinced um, <laughs> my mom to go with me um, to Target. She lives in Arizona um, and we went out there. I also feel like I need to apologize. You guys are gonna see a video where I was painting and um, staining wood. And for some reason I did not put gloves on before I started the project. So my hands, I mean, are gnarly. I promise you it's not dirt. It's just wood stain that I cannot get off. So please don't judge me for that. But anyway, I was at my parents' house and, um, we decided it was like the day after or a couple weekends after the 4th of July. And so they had all their pool floaties on sale. So we went to Target to go check out their dollar section because she's a teacher too. Um, and to pick up some pool floaties, um, that were on clearance. So I saw these and I had to have them. They only had two, but if I see these again, I'm going to pick up more. Um, and it just has different colored dice and it has an addition sign, a subtraction dice and an equal sign. And, um, I think I'm going to go through when I actually get a chance and make a game board for these and turn these into cabinet games. So cabinet games are what I have when the kids have a chance to do fun Friday or free choice, or some of my early finishers get to play cabinet games. Um, so Love these. If I see more, I'm definitely going to pick those guys up. Um, twistable colored pencils. I think I'm going to do a VIP table this year. I'm not completely convinced on it yet, um, but I'm willing to try. So I wanted to have some extra cool school supplies. So I got the, excuse me, that's so rude. I got some color twistables um, to put with my VIP caddy. The next thing I got, um, this was actually from um, um, Marshalls, no, Michaels. And I've shown you in a previous video the alphabet letters um, that I got in the Target haul. And then I found um, um, some jewelry holders and I put in some letters so that the kids can see. Now my problem was I did this on the floor when my family was watching a movie and I have two black dogs that shed more than anyone's business. So I literally have dog hair stuck in the laminating parts and in the double-sided sticky tape, which is gonna drive me batty. So I think I'm gonna have to relabel this whole thing. But I just wanted to show you, I got these from Michaels and I didn't get them in the craft supply section. Um, I didn't like what they had to offer. So I actually went to the jewelry section. So this technically is a jewelry case holder but it worked out perfectly. Um, and I have it labeled on the front and on the inside because I feel like my kids spend more time 
looking for letters than actually like spelling out their sight words. Um, so I got two big cases for um, the alphabet letters and I think I brought, I might have to show you that later, but I also got a smaller one for the numbers as well. So I have two for the letters and two for the numbers. The next thing I got, um, I put some things in this iris case. I got more of these guys. Um, I felt like that just was not enough foam to do a station um, with two or three kids. So I bought two more of the um, foam guys and I explained how I would use that in my Target haul video. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these guys. I don't think you can ever have enough little like bins. We don't have a lot of built-in storage at my school. We have um, classroom mobile, so we're outside. We have a little kitchenette that has storage, but I am always needing things like this to um, store random things. So whenever I see little things like this, I try to pick them up because they're not gonna go to waste and if I can't use them, it was a dollar, it can go to someone else um, who needs some storage help. I bought one more of these. Um, I showed this in the Target haul um, a couple weeks ago. So I bought one more um, that I saw of taller, Target dollar spot. And I know technically it's not called that anymore, but it will forever be the Target dollar spot to me. And Michael's still has these guys on sale for $4. And I think they're originally 11. I love them. I keep my scrapbook paper in them. I keep um, sticker sets in here. Um, lots of things. So I just like having bulky storage, things like this. I'm a sucker for anything that's clear and plastic. So I bought a bunch more of these and I hate how they fit in those Marshall or Marshalls. I keep saying Marshalls now. Michael's um, carts. I can only fit like three of these in there and then I'm done. Um, so every time I go, I just buy a couple of these because I can use either my teacher discount or my military discount, um, which I love. I think no, I'll do a couple more things for this video. I bought a bunch of these guys. I, they had one set of um, the tall um, rectangle ones that are the um, adhesive label. So I bought another one of these guys. And then I went a little hard in the magnetic list pad section. Um, I cleaned them out of this section and I tried to make sure I had a different, I got all the designs that they had. Um, and the reason I did this was because I'm going to make a gift for my um, grade level team. I have, there's five kinders and then we do have a TK class that have 50-50. Um, so there are two teachers that we've never had a TK class before. So, um, they're going to be joining us for a lot of things and I wanted to do some gifts to make them feel welcome and um, do that for everybody. So I bought some of these to add to that gift. So I cleaned them out of that. One thing, and I Instagrammed this already, I bought the read sign. My target, any um, time I saw the wooden signs, they only had read and teach and I didn't want those. I was looking for think and I think they had learned but I didn't see those ones but they did have the read I was not a big fan of the cup I was not a big fan of the colors that they had um I don't like primary colors I'm not into the reds and yellows and blues um and I didn't really like their pastel colors that they had in these um so I changed them I was going to add glitter but the glitter that I have at my house is super, super fine, and I kind of wanted the chunky glitter. So I haven't glittered them yet, but I just painted them black, and then they will be glittered. And I think I'm gonna put this in our library section. And I got some command strips. I have a wreath, wreath that um, I've made for the front of my classroom, and I have something else that I think I'm gonna use for the back. And we just had our doors painted over spring break, and so um, I don't want to put any type of adhesive that's going to ruin that new paint. So I'm going to try these and see if these work. I have been using the green or the blue tack stuff, but literally that was so hard to get off after the fresh paint. Um, so I sat there forever. Just it was like used gum trying to get it off a sidewalk. So I thought I would try these guys instead. 
And then I bought some flare pens. I've already bought this pack for myself, but I wanted to add this into the giveaway. And then these two things were the dollar spot as well. And um, they're little thank you cards and just cards that have little alphabets on them. I like to keep things, ah, I like to keep things like this in one of my drawers in my kitchenette so that um, if a kiddo or a family brings me something, they're not waiting for a thank you card. I love to do the handwritten thank you cards. I think it is really important to do that. Same with um, something's happening and you want to do a quick little note. Um, I like to put these down. Um, I had a kiddo go on vacation and bring me something last year. So I wanted to make sure their family got a thank you card and I didn't want to write it on a sticky note and do it that way. So I literally just sat down right at that minute and wrote a thank you card. So whenever I see cheap little things like this, I always pick them up. And I think I'm going to stop part one of the back to school haul. And tomorrow I'm going to post the other half. Um, I have a bunch of Target stuff. I have some Amazon stuff. I have some Ikea stuff. And I have some Lakeshore stuff. So I finally went to my Lakeshore um, to get some of my back to school items. So I look forward to seeing you guys on that video as well. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you guys can keep this channel going. Thanks so much.